encountering harmful individuals who manipulate and cause pain with no empathy can be unsettling. This video provides an in-depth exploration of the signs that reveal an evil person, how to identify their toxic behaviors, and how to set effective boundaries to safeguard your well-being. Let's begin. What defines an evil person? An evil person isn't just someone with bad manners or a difficult personality. They go beyond occasional rudeness and are characterized by patterns of behavior meant to cause harm. Key indicators include their lack of empathy, manipulation, need for control, and pathological lying. 1. Charming yet deceptive. At first glance, evil people often appear charismatic and friendly. They may seem charming, engaging, and interested in getting to know you. This facade, however, can hide their true intentions, which may emerge over time. These individuals often seek to make you feel comfortable so they can later manipulate or harm you emotionally. For example, someone you meet at a social event might be the life of the party, drawing everyone in with their stories and jokes. However, as you get closer, you might realize they are self-centered and consistently put you down to maintain control. It's common for evil people to want the spotlight, and they'll do anything, including belittling others, to keep it. 2. Lack of empathy. Empathy is crucial for forming meaningful, respectful relationships. An evil person lacks this basic trait. They are unable to relate to others' emotions and feelings, which often leads to a pattern of hurtful actions without remorse. This lack of empathy might show up in personal relationships, such as a partner who consistently ignores your emotional needs. It can also manifest in professional environments. For instance, a manager who forces their team to work overtime without pay or disregards personal emergencies shows a complete disregard for their employees' well-being. These individuals care only for their own gain, regardless of the emotional toll on others. 3. Manipulation. Subtle yet dangerous. Evil individuals excel at manipulation. Whether through gaslighting, guilt-tripping, or deceit, they aim to make others bend to their will. Gaslighting is a particular form of manipulation where the manipulator makes the victim question their own reality or feelings, causing confusion and insecurity. For example, you might have a friend who always manages to get their way. They may play the victim, make you feel guilty for not agreeing with them, or use charm to persuade you. Manipulation is dangerous because it can be hard to recognize, especially when disguised as concern or affection. 4. Pathological lying. Lying is a central trait of an evil person. They lie even when there is no need, often creating complex stories to cover up harmful behavior or manipulate others. Lying becomes second nature to these individuals, and they do it to distort reality, control others, or avoid consequences. Imagine catching a colleague lying about your work to take credit. They may continue to weave even more lies to maintain their deception, showing how deeply rooted dishonesty is in their behavior. 5. Excessive control. An evil person often needs to dominate every aspect of your life. Unlike regular quirks where someone likes things a certain way, their control is overbearing and suffocating. They want to dictate where you go, who you see, and how you live. For example, a partner may insist on knowing your whereabouts constantly, limit your social interactions, and try to isolate you from family or friends. Such controlling behavior erodes your independence and self-esteem, making you reliant on them. 6. Aggression and hostility. Evil people are often quick to anger or become aggressive when things don't go their way. This aggression can manifest in emotional outbursts, physical intimidation, or even threats. Their inability to accept rejection or criticism fuels this behavior. You may notice a pattern of aggression if, for instance, they lash out at small inconveniences or when you resist their control. Such hostility can quickly escalate, leading to a toxic environment. Great info thanks. Now, how we can protect ourselves from this type of people. How to set boundaries. Dealing with an evil person can be mentally exhausting and damaging. The key to preserving your well-being lies in setting and enforcing strong boundaries. Here's a guide to boundary setting. 1. Clear and direct communication. When dealing with an evil person, it's important to clearly express what behavior you will and will not tolerate. 
Be specific in your language and maintain a calm, assertive tone. For example, if a co-worker takes credit for your work, you might say, I appreciate your interest in my project, but I would prefer if you did not take credit for my contributions. It's important that I'm recognized for my work. 2. Stick to your boundaries. Consistency is crucial when enforcing boundaries with evil people. They will often test your limits and try to manipulate you into relaxing your standards. However, by staying firm, you send a clear message that their behavior will not be tolerated. 3. Detach and distance. In some cases, distancing yourself from the person may be necessary. This is especially true if the individual refuses to change or becomes hostile when confronted. Recognizing that cutting ties is a healthy option to protect yourself is key to regaining control over your life. 4. Seek support from others. It can be difficult to spot manipulation when you're in the middle of it. Talking to a trusted friend, family member, or counselor can give you an outside perspective and help you assess the situation clearly. So, people. Dealing with an evil person is a harrowing experience that requires emotional resilience and strength. By recognizing their behaviors whether it's manipulation, control, lack of empathy, or pathological lying you can better protect yourself. Establishing firm boundaries, communicating assertively, and seeking support are essential steps to safeguarding your mental and emotional health. The strategies on this video can empower you to handle toxic people effectively, reclaim control, and ensure that you are surrounded by positive, supportive relationships. Okay, so, this is Lazarus from Greece. Hope you liked this video. If so, please like and share, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe!